Welcome to another image converter update. Today, I want to show you regular OCR. Not terribly exciting, but you may find it useful. Let's go to my computer and I'll show you how it works. So I have my image converter here. And what I'll do is I'm going to drag and drop an OPT file here. And you see now we have um, four documents, different number of page counts and so on. So I'm going to say conversion option, image to text. And the export folder is going to be fine. I have an empty folder here. I'm going to hit start. So it's going to take a few seconds to get started. And while it does that, I want to show you a couple of options that you can apply to your OCR. So if I go to options tab, you'll see that I've added a bunch of stuff here. Just ignore it for now. Not all of it works. Uh, what important here is the OCR options. And what we can do here is select type of document. So when we select none, that's the fastest way to OCR documents, by the way, you see in progress bar in the bottom. So none is not going to try to figure out different components of a image It's just gonna treat it like lines, you know, just go line, 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 and just OCR it down. If you select document, it's going to look for like things like paragraphs. Uh, and then if you do document and photo, that's probably your best option if you want the highest quality, which means it's going to look for paragraphs, columns, sections, and figure out where the photos are and ignore that. And this should give you the absolute best possible up, uh, OCR result, but it will be slower. So none is the fastest and you can you probably don't need these two, but they're available. A uh, table is if you if you know you have tables and curved text if you have pictures of a book. So if somebody opens the physical book and takes a picture with the phone, you know the lines are gonna be like kind of curved. So this is what curved text is. And then the language, you can choose uh, whatever OCR language you want. So now that we're back here, the status is done. If we come back here, we see that the folder structure has been mirrored to the original. And now we have a document level uh, text files. And we have a cross reference here that we can use to overlay that into whatever software you have. So why is this useful? Well, maybe you received an outside production that is missing text. Uh, and you just want to OCR it ahead of time before loading. So you don't get errors, or maybe the software you're using for your review doesn't do a good job at OCR or you don't have enough licenses or something else, you can use this tool to perform OCR on regular images. And again, why is it here? Well, because I already have searchable PDF option here, which is part of an image converter. And since I'm doing OCR anyway, I might as well add an option to save it to a text file, because I am sure it's going to be useful to some people. All right, that's my update on image converter. Uh, by now, this should be in beta. So if you want to download it and try it, you are welcome to do so. If you don't see a link, just send me an email or comment or something like that. I'll get in touch with you. All right, thank you for checking out this video. I will see you on another update.